What's up guys, it's Rowan here from Artismart TV. And there's an idea called the law of the lid. And it's a really simple but powerful idea. It basically says that whatever you do in practice, that's going to be the lid on what you achieve in your exam. And here's why. You know, the real thing, it's harder. You've got unseen questions, time conditions, the person next to you writing like a crazy person, freaking you out. And it means that whatever you do in the exam, you're not gonna do as well as you did in practice when conditions are perfect, when you've got all the time in the world to nail it. So as a result, whatever you get in practice, let's say you got a, you know, an 80%, that's gonna be the lid, the maximum that you're probably gonna achieve in your exam because the exam will be harder. So we've gotta work out how can you improve your lid as quickly as possible in practice so that by the time you get to the real thing, you're ready to nail it. And there's a really simple principle we're gonna look at in this video today, and it's called the law of the feedback loop. So let's jump in and find out what it is and how you can use it to your advantage. So the law of the feedback loop, it's a really simple idea. If you think about when you were first learning anything at all, perhaps even walking, you know, when you were putting left foot and right foot forward and left foot forward and then you fell over and your face hit the ground. The ground was feedback to you then. Painful feedback, but feedback on what not to do the next time you tried to walk. And really for anything that we learn, feedback's a critical piece. We do something, we get feedback, and then we change, tweak, modify what we do, and then we get more feedback and we rinse and repeat. Now, the key therefore is getting more feedback quicker. If you can get more feedback quicker, you're gonna accelerate your feedback loop and you're going to be able to lift your lid in practice much, much quicker so that when you get into the exam, you're going to do incredibly well. If getting feedback is key though, we've got to look at how you can do that and how you can accelerate it in the shortest period of time. And so I've got four suggestions for you on how you can use the law of the feedback loop to your advantage. So let's look at what these four ways are that you can implement in the next couple of days immediately. So there are four ways that you can rapidly accelerate your feedback loop. And the first way is to take advantage of your teacher. They're there to help you. So use them, get them to mark your work. In fact, you should be asking them for so much feedback that when they see you, they start running because they know you're gonna hit them up with more work to be marked. So that's step number one, or strategy number one, ask your teacher for lots and lots of feedback. The second strategy is actually to mark the work that you do. You know, it's often so easy to just work on some stuff and go, cool, I've done it, and put it there and not actually mark it. But marking is critical because it's gonna give you the feedback that you need to enhance what you're doing. So actually mark your work. Really, really important. Number three is teach someone. You know, think about it, when you teach someone, you're getting an immediate feedback loop. They're gonna look at you and they're gonna say, uh-uh-uh, you got that wrong. They're gonna say, oh, that was BS. Or they're gonna say, that was freaking amazing. So they're gonna give you this feedback that's gonna help you rapidly improve what you do. So teach someone and ideally do it every single day. A simple way you can do it is teach your parents over dinner every single night. Now the final thing that you can do to rapidly accelerate your feedback loop, number four, is to get a tutor or mentor to support you. They're gonna be able to tell you whether or not you're right or wrong, mark up your work, and give you lots and lots of feedback. So if you need help at Art of Smart, we've got an incredible team of tutors and mentors across Sydney that can help you, both one-on-one -on -one in your home and at our campus in Hornsby. So get in touch with us. We've got an incredibly proven track record working with more than 4,000 students to help them rapidly accelerate their feedback loop. So, four strategies to accelerate your feedback loop. And it's really interesting, in all of the research we've done with top performing students, one of the things that I found is that they intuitively understood this and were doing all four. So now you've got to think about how you're going to implement these four into your study routine. In conclusion, remember the law of the lid. Whatever you do in practice, that's going to be a lid on how you're going to go in your exams. And the way to overcome that is to tap in to law of the feedback loop. The quicker and faster that you can get feedback, 
the better you're going to go. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can ask the teacher for lots of feedback. You can actually mark your work. You can teach someone because you're getting immediate real-time feedback that way. Or you can also get a tutor and mentor who can help you and provide you with feedback. And Art of Smart can help you with that. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to help and support you. I'd love to hear how you're applying the law of the feedback loop in your own study. And finally, you know the drill, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. Blah, blah, subscribe button. <laughs> uh, you know, we're doing videos every week. So if you hit it, hit the bell for notifications. And that way, I'll see you next week.